Hey guys, welcome back to Crossway Kids Online. Wow, it is so fun to explore God's Word, but you know what's even better? Exploring it together! So we're going to do just that today. Now, I was thinking before, what's your favourite part of Crossway Kids? Could be the dramas, or the small groups, or the games. I was thinking, I reckon my favourite part is the worship. And even though we're all at home, we can still worship God together. So let's do that. You are above every other Your love amazes me You created every beautiful color For everyone to see I want the world to know I want my life to show Just what your love has done for me Praise God, cause only you deserve it I want the world to know, I want my life to show Just what your love has done for me Three, two, one, go. The prodigal son. Oh, How... the hidden treasure, hidden treasure. Powerful of the lost coin. The good Samaritan. The wicked tenants. The good seed, the good soil, the bad soil. Um, the one about the builders on the sand and the rock. True. The lost sheep. Oh, it's about to say that one, Josh, you got that one from me. Oh, oh the, the banquet one, the great banquet. Um, the wise and foolish uh, servants. Um, the parable of the good shepherd. The, shepherd. the mustard seed. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, good Samaritan. Wow, our friends named so many parables. Now you might be wondering, what is a parable? It's just a long way of saying a story that Jesus told his disciples or anyone that he was teaching. And it always contained a really important message. Now, thinking of parables, my favorite one is the parable of the two builders. Just before we get into it, I reckon we should get in the mindset of a builder. So what we're gonna need for this activity is any building blocks around your house. This could be Duplo, Jenga, ice cream, containers, or Lego. 
Ah, perfect. That is exactly what I needed. All right, what we're gonna do with these building blocks is we're gonna build a house in one minute. That's right, you only get one minute. Now for the first house we're gonna build, I want you to build it on the floor. Find a surface that is nice and solid and level. All right, let's start building. How did you go? My house turned out pretty good, uh, considering that we only had one minute. All right, now for the second part of the challenge, I want you to use those same blocks that you had, but this time we're gonna build it on our hands. That's right, I want you to put your hand nice and level like this, and build your house right there. Okay, that was much harder than the first part. My hand was like so unsteady and when I accidentally tipped it this way, my house almost collapsed. Ah, oh well, at least we got there. Do you remember the parable that I mentioned before? The parable of the two builders? You might be wondering, what has that got to do to building two Lego houses? Well, let's find out together. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the two builders. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. He asked them, why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the floodwaters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right, hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. 
Uh-oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. I think this parable is speaking of a little more than just Lego houses. Now, let's find out what God is telling us here by doing a DBM together. We start by retelling the story in our own words. We can do that right now. I want you to grab the two houses that you built and go up to maybe an older sibling or your parents and tell them the story. Now we ask, what stood out to me from that passage? And what stood out to me was the fact that the house built on the sand fell apart so quickly. It didn't take years and years and then finally crumbled to the ground. It fell apart after the first storm. Now's the time to ask yourself that question. What stood out to you? I reckon this story tells us that God gives us instructions and advice. We don't have to guess or wonder about what we need to do or what he's asking us to do because he gives us clear and important instructions. All right, your turn. Have a chat about it right now. Sometimes we build our houses on the sand. Now this looks like building our thoughts off the worries and concerns of this world. This could be about money or popularity or getting more stuff. Everyday fears and concerns, they stop us from following God's calling for our lives. And unfortunately, this never ends well. But what about you? What is this passage telling you? Chat about that now. What's God saying to me? Now, I reckon it's saying that we need to read God's word and follow what it says because that way we can build a solid foundation. Rather than building a hazard on the sand, we can have one that's sturdy and doesn't fall down in the storm. This means that we can persevere through the tough things of life. Now, what do you think God is telling you? Share this with your family now. To start building my solid foundation, I need to read God's word and do what he tells me to do. Now, I can do this by maybe reading a new story each and every day, or listening to the Bible on the Bible app, or watching a video on the Bible app. But what I love to do most is read from my Bible and look at the pictures as I do so. I can always remember that I can ask God questions and maybe journal to write down what he responds back with. But most importantly, I need to remember to do what God tells me to do, because my actions speak louder than my words. What about you? What do you think God is telling you to do and what are you going to do about it? Have a chat with your family now. I love the way that Jesus told parables to his disciples to make it really clear what he wanted them to do. And the cool thing is, we can now read those parables and know what he wants us to do. All right, let's finish our time together by praying. I want you to grab those two houses that you built before, hold them in your hands and ask God to help you be more like the wise builder who built his house on a solid foundation. Let's pray now. It was great to explore God's word with you today. Now remember, keep reading your Bible each and every day, just so you can be like that wise builder we were talking about. We are so glad you were joined us here today and we can't wait to see you again next week. God bless.